Hey yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I saw that my Godzilla vs. Kong toys at Walmart have, has gone viral. It's been the highest uh, views of any video I've ever made. And I've also gotten 20-something new subscribers. Make sure you guys tap the bell. I cannot say it that much. I've, I'm, I've made two new videos since then. I've made the Illinois Railway Museum. And I've also made the Kefla for Dragon Ball Z Dokkan. Nobody has really viewed it. So I really hope you guys view that after this video. Um, but yeah, today I went to the Walmart again. And I got Kong and Godzilla. And um, they didn't have any of the other ones. They did have the big boys. But I think the big boys are not worth it because, I mean, like, come on. What else is in scale? Only Godzilla and Kong? Well, if you guys don't really want spoilers, I mean, you guys know. Well, if you already seen the toys and you look at the back of the box, you know that there's another kaiju. But if you guys do not want to know, I suggest you click away because it's just it's on the box i did not like it my dad did not like it we, we did not like that there was another kaiju in the movie because it was it, it literally says godzilla versus kong it's not supposed to be meant for him too anyways let's get in into the review okay so first here we go we got kong and kong is the same as any other box uh, you do get battle damage reveal, as you see over here and over there. You do get a nice title of Godzilla vs. Kong, Godzilla and Kong. Godzilla's gonna win, in my opinion. Uh, at the bottom here, you have, like, a little city. Like, I don't know if you see, but it's a little city on fire. Uh, Toho, Legendary Monsterverse, Playmates, Form Up, Kong, Monsterverse with Battle Axe, not for children under three. So yeah, that's the front of the box. At the side of the box, we get a, the nice view of the... At, I can't say it. At the side of Kong. And you get a, you get you do get... Excuse me. Uh, you do get a, the Burning City again with Godzilla, and, uh, with Godzilla and Kong. Sorry, that was not in frame. At the back of the box... There it is. These two... I mean, Skullcrawler, we probably were assuming that we were going to get it again. But this one looks a little different. It has a little red on his head the war bat i think it's called yeah that thing looks pretty weird i have not seen that in stores yet it looks like to be a fusion of a snake and a bat um there is another godzilla and kong i do not i've not seen these in stores all i've seen is kong and godzilla so this half of the review is going to be about kong uh this i i am editing this video too because it i think it's better if i do edit it instead of you know just leaving it be so yeah we have kong here you get the battle axe you get kong and you get the little fur at the other side you just get kong with battle axe and burning city all right i'll be right back all right so now that we got kong out of the box uh i tried not to damage it that much it really looks not that good like it, it still looks in good condition so sorry that the camera knocked down my tripod is so loose for some reason don't know why but i will bring my other one next time if i'm reviewing so yeah here we go we got kong kong is a uh, good size uh he's about the size of my hand my hand is actually really big um so yeah kong is really nice he does he can do a whole 360 turn to his arm his his uh, yeah his I, I don't know what would you call this but yeah he can swivel his elbow okay yeah let's call it the elbows they can twist all the way uh same goes for this arm this arm has the battle damage i do not see it anywhere else uh his his legs do move they kind of can do a circle but they kind of can't he can kind of kick let's see if he can uh Okay, he can do gorilla pose, but with, he cannot look up. So yeah, it's not, his head is all right. It can just, yeah, it can, uh, it can do a whole 360. It looks pretty weird though. So yeah, Kong does have, uh, I think a scratch from the um, skull crawler. Uh, overall, it's really nice, but like, come on, do they still have to have numbers on their toys? Like, come on, a kid is not going to want that. 
the back it's really nice it has a lot of it looks really nice and sculpted it looks really nicely painted same as here is i don't know i didn't buy any of the kong skull island toys um it look it, i don't know if it looks exactly the same but yeah it looks really good for kong it i have not the movie isn't even out yet and we're getting it in may and they released this so early in my opinion so yeah here is the skin for the battle damage um just matches the arm that's literally all i could say it matches the arm see it literally just matches the arm so now let's just slide that baby in i wonder how you do it oh yeah well it goes in there but you like it's kind of a little brighter like you can see it's a little brighter than it has to be uh his arms do make a you know what they can't really turn they really cannot turn it's pretty hard actually kong um overall i do not like the character that just by himself but for the toy, it's actually really good. It's worth $10, I think. And, uh, hold on, I'm trying to slip in the axe. All right, there we go. So, yeah, there's the axe. Him in his battle pose position. Just like that. Let's have him in a pose. Like, come here. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Hold up. Yeah. Uh, to the battle axe. Uh, I don't know. It kind of looks like a bone wrapped around. And then Godzilla's spine. I really hope that doesn't happen because I want Godzilla to win. Uh, Kong, um, out of a five, I would give him... Probably a f like 4.5. It's really good. Uh, it's just if the head can look up, it would be it would make it a five. But every and the arms too, and the arms they they should make the arms a little better. Cause see over here how it's all nice and gray over here. It's his knuckles are still a little black, and here it is. Come on, they screw up such little details, and it, come on, and they still have these numbers. They need to change this in future toys because Godzilla vs. Kong is coming out in May, so I they better because I remember in the leaks that they was kind of like a Mega Godzilla or something like that. But yeah, we got Kong here. He's awesome. I kind of do recommend you buying him. He's not bad. Um, if you're gonna get any of the other characters, like Warbat, Godzilla, I think it's worth it. But getting the other Kong, I don't think it's worth it, because you really do not need to. So, uh, this is Kong's review. Um, this is the first half of the review of Kong. Um, it really does look good, because in the profile, in the picture, he cannot literally do that. See, like, it's not possible. Yeah, overall, Kong is really good. I really like him. I really do not like Kong in general, but the toy is pretty nice. Uh, so we're going to move on to Godzilla's review. Okay, so now moving on to Godzilla's side. Um, same box, clearly. It does have the battle damage reveal here too. Monster vs. Yeah, it's literally the same as the Kong box. Uh, same, yeah, same stuff. Nice, Godzilla vs. Kong. I, they're just reusing the package. You got Godzilla vs. Kong here. On the other side of the box, you got Godzilla with Heat Ray and Burning City, Monster Verse. Uh, at the back of the box, uh, we get a little bio of Godzilla over here. And, uh, at the top, you do get a little, um description of the movie the bottom you get a review of what else is there um yeah 
I guess that's it. Uh, some legal shit. I don't know. Yeah. And yeah, so that's it for Godzilla's box. I mean, it's literally the same thing as Kong's box. Like, box. Like, come on. How is it not the same? Okay, let's move that out of the way. So yeah, here's Kong. We already got him in. Uh, pretty much. I'm cool. I like Kong. All right. So now let's get Godzilla opened up. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. So now that we got Godzilla out of the box, uh, this one was kind of hard to get out. Um, actually, no, it wasn't. It was actually easier than Kong's. So yeah. I try to reserve the boxes as much as possible. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna bring out Godzilla. Yep, here he is. So here's Godzilla. He's really nice. Um, the tail, oh wait, hold up. The tail was kind of hard to put on. Uh, a kid, I think you would need um, a little adult help. But uh, overall, Godzilla looks really nice. Um, it's just over here it's a little too exposed and i don't think that's really cool same as here uh godzilla his face i think needed a little more detail um his teeth the inside looks really good uh the teeth the teeth just need it just, they look so lazy they did they did do better than uh what is it called than the other playmates toys that they released a lot not that long ago um, overall, here, I think they should have uh, finished the blue. I mean, I don't even remember if any Godzilla company has done that. Over here, too. Just, like, why did they stop it right there? Like, why? I remember it going all the way up to, like, here, to the nose. Um, but Godzilla, yeah, he does have translucent plastic on his back for the spine. So, um, indicate the atomic breath. I don't even know what it indicate means of, i mean i've heard it but like you know um for the battle damage you can see his bones it's pretty cool i really like that uh the battle damage just like kong should go straight in Am I putting it on the wrong way what the heck why won't they go in yeah, I'm putting it in right. Hold up. Hold up, guys. Let me just slide it in. I don't know why it's being so hard on me. There we go. Yeah, it looks in. Okay, all I can say now is that the battle damage when you put it in really sucks. Um... So yeah, Godzilla now looks complete, looks like himself. Uh, you know that there's a battle damage there. It's nice and rubbery, which is awesome. Just like the spines, but they're still maybe a little sharp for a kid. Um, so overall, he can open his mouth. He, I don't know. He really cannot do a 360 on his arms. This one he can, but it, I wouldn't recommend it. His legs... Wherever the exposed part goes up to, that's all I can go up to, which really isn't that good. See? Uh, let me put that back into position. Same as here. Really isn't that good. But for $10, I think it's worth it. Because you got them little figures uh, for King of the Monsters. And uh, they were actually really good. So these are just like size up versions of it. Um, so... Now let's go over the accessory. Okay, so now that we're back, we're gonna go over the accessory, the atomic breath. Uh, the atomic breath is, you can stick your finger in it, just like that. Uh, it could, I don't know how you stick it in, but I think you just, I don't know, like. How do you? How do you even put it in? Wait, on the box, it doesn't even give you instructions how you put it in. So it's got to go up. Go in like that.
Oh, there's the hole. Boom. All right. That looks really good, actually. I don't know if to you guys, if it looks like he look, it looks like he's throwing up, but it looks really good. Uh, Godzilla is just like Kong. Not really. It, it, it looks good for a kid's toy. Uh, here and then side by side, they do look good next to each other. Like if you just, and then it just hits the atomic breath. He goes like that, and then he just taps him in. Completely missed there, just like that, and hits him. Uh, overall, these toys are really nice. Um, I think you guys should get Godzilla. Godzilla looks a lot better. It has translucent plastic for the atomic breath and his spines. Kong it just looks like a plain old monkey to me. Just with no tail, so an ape, whatever you guys want to call it, yeah. Uh, lizard is, I think, would be a monkey like that. So yeah, uh, I think Godzilla is what you want to buy. They're each ten dollars. Remember, there's two of Godzilla and Kong, as you can see, and Warbat and a Skull Crawler. So I have, I will try and find a Skull Crawler and War Warbat, mm -hmm. but overall. These two figures are awesome. I will not be buying the other two Godzilla versus Kongs because, ugh, I think it's a waste of money. Because you already got two right here. You don't need the big ones. These are the perfect size that you need. I think you just need this one, this one, and the Warbat and the Skull Crawler. Overall, these are really nice toys. I think you guys should get them. If you guys are new here, drop a sub. Make sure you hit that little bell. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.